all right so now welcome to the part two of this video and here we'll add different blocks to our drawing including the door window and other interior blocks so let's get started so here we have these two blocks which we have already made and i'll start by adding this door block for that i'll go to this copy tool select the door block click here and click on this end point and move it at the required position so in this case i'm not quite concerned about the exact location i just need to move it here so i simply click on this point and press enter now we need to flip it and for that i'll select it go to this mirror tool click on this end point and then click on this end point and select yes from erase source objects and here we have it the block as per our requirement now we can make copies of this block so select it make a copy and select this end point and move it here close to this one and move it once again close to this point just like this all right now we need to add one more block over here and we obviously need to rotate that one also so i'll once again select this copy tool select this original block click on this point and move it somewhere over here now we need to rotate it for that select the rotate tool zoom into this area select this one press enter click on this point and you can simply rotate this one like this so here we have it now we need to add the next block which is this one this door block and for that you can simply move it so select move tool select it and move it over here all right so here it is now we can also erase this block this is no longer required now we have these two windows which we need to add so i'll start by adding this window but i'll make a copy of this and i'll first rotate this one so select rotate and click on this point and you can directly make a copy by rotating this also so i'll simply click on copy and i'll make another copy of this which is rotated to a particular angle so you can move it also here it is now select copy tool select this one and move it on this wall so obviously we need to move this second one as this is the wall of 10 inch thickness so we can move it inside this drawing and here in this case we will place it here on this wall just like this and press enter now select this one and select copy tool and move it on this wall you can take reference of this end point and i'll move it here and now press enter now i'll select this window and once again i'll rotate this one select it click on this point make a copy and rotate this one we can once again move it and we can now copy it so select it select the copy tool and copy it on this point so you can take reference of any of these points i'll take the reference of this end point here all right and once again take reference of this end point place it here place another one over here just like this okay and now we need to place one here so i'll select this one you can now move it directly select it and move it somewhere over here so now we have this window here i'll make one more copy of this window select it make a copy and move it over here so in this case i'll take reference of this end point and i'll move it here all right now these windows are no longer required you can simply erase them so windows are now added doors are also added but we need to clean the geometry a little bit because you can see that this area is not quite clean and for that i'll select this trim tool once again so select trim press enter and simply remove these areas just like this so you can do that quite easily using the trim tool all right now it's done and with these changes i'll save this drawing once so i'll click on this save i'll go to the desktop and let's name it as floor plan 
and I'll click on save. All right, our drawing is now saved. Now we can add other blocks and we're not going to create all of the blocks and we already have a library of blocks within this AutoCAD 2018 or whatever version you are using and that library is called Design Center. So you can open Design Center by pressing Ctrl 2 key on your keyboard or you can also use its command Add Center. Now this will open the Design Center with your default view. In my case, this is the default view or this is the last view which I have selected. So in order to return to the default view, click on this home icon and that will take you to the default view. Now select this ENUS folder and Design Center and here you will find this list of drawing and you can select your required type of block from this list. So I'll go to this house designer, select blocks. Now we have these blocks. So we need this bathtub. Let's drag and drop it here. And as you can see that we have this in this window color, which we obviously don't want. So we want this on the blocks layer. So let's change it to blocks and I'll simply erase this one and I'll drag and drop it once again. Now select this toilet block, select the sink and click on home. Let's go to ENUS Design Center and now we'll select Home Space Planner, Blocks and now we need this bed. We also need this dining set, this lamp, this plant, this sofa and let's move to this home icon again, ENUS Design Center and let's select this kitchens and blocks and now we need some blocks for the kitchen so i'll select this oven i'll select this refrigerator and this double sink all right now let's close this design center we have now sufficient number of blocks here in the drawing area now we'll add these blocks one by one in our drawing and i'll start with this bed so select this one make a copy of this and move it here now we can rotate this one. So select rotate tool and rotate it with this point and I'll rotate it just like this and move it once again to the required position. In this case, I'll place it somewhere close to this point. Let's zoom a little bit and there we have it. Now let's select this table lamp and I'll make a copy of this and I'll move it here. Now let's make a table, a small one and we'll place that table over here. All right, so now we have this set quite complete and we need to make a copy of this on this side as well. So I'll select these three objects. I'll select copy tool, click anywhere and just move it to this side like this. Now let's add the objects in the toilet and for that I'll select this one and I'll move it inside. And this is the toilet, so I'll just place it over here. Now we need to rotate this one, so select, rotate. Rotate it like this. And let's now move it to one of these corners. We can take reference of this point as well if required. There we have it. Now we need to move this bath tub. So I'll select the move tool once again because we only have a single copy of this. We don't need to add multiple copies here. So here it is, once again, I'll rotate this one. So click anywhere in the drawing area and rotate it like this. And I'll move it here by taking the reference of this point, just like this. Now select the sink and once again, move it over here. All right, so these things are now added. Now we can erase this bed, this is no longer required. Now let's add this dining table. So select it, select the move tool and place it over here. We'll rotate this one as well. So select, rotate and rotate it to this 90 degree angle and I may need to move it because we accidentally selected some other point. So there we have it. All right, now let's add these objects in the drawing room. So I'll select this move tool and I'll move this sofa somewhere over here 
and let's make a copy of this. So select copy tool, make a copy and we'll rotate this copy of so far. So select, rotate, select this point and make a copy like this. And let's move it a little bit towards this side. All right, there we have it. Now we can add a table here in the middle of this or we can also move it a little bit if required just like this and let's move it also and let's add the table so I'll add the table here okay and now we need to add a small filleted radius on this rectangle and for that I'll select this fillet tool and click on radius and I'll approximately select the radius by clicking at two points so that will be the radius click on polyline and click on any of these lines so that will add fillet on all of these four vertices so there we have the table now let's add the TV here so for the television set I'll select the rectangle tool click on this point and let's add it just like this and now let's move this plant and I'll move it from this point to this one somewhere over here and I'll make another copy of this and I'll add it here all right and let's add it here as well so there we have it we can move it a little bit upwards if required just like this all right so now we have added lots of blocks we only need to add some blocks in the kitchen so for that I'll start with this sink select move tool move it here now select the oven and move it here we need to rotate this one select rotate there we have it again move and move it a little bit like this select the refrigerator move it to somewhere over here all right now I'll move this thing a little bit towards right now we can move this lamp or we can simply erase it it's no longer required and we need to add the slab here and for that I'll go to the line tool and I'll track this midpoint I'll click somewhere over here and now add a distance of 3 fit press enter join it with this point select the line tool and now once again with the extension type 3 fit and join it with this one now we can trim this portion select trim press enter and click on this point here so this line is also now trimmed so now we have added all the required blocks in our floor plan as well so after adding these details we can now add hatches to our drawing and for adding the hatches I'll go to this layer and change it to hatch and now let's click on save icon once again and let's move to this hatch tool now in this hatch I'll select the solid pattern that's the one which we need and select this area the area within this wall again select this area the area over here and the area here the small area here also and here also and the small area over here now make sure none of the areas are unchecked and yes we have added it everywhere now simply click on close hatch creation and we have added the wall thickness using these hatches and now we can add the text so before adding the text we need to change the text style and that will be the style of text everywhere in the drawing area so I'll go to this annotation expand it and select this text style icon now we have this standard text which is selected right now and we have the font txt.shx so I'll change it to simplex so let's type s and here we have the simplex.shx font also the height is not set so that will take the default height you can keep it that way if you want simply select apply and close 
now i'll change it to text and let's add this multi-line text so let's make this window and let's type bedroom one now the size of text should be one fit and that depends on the overall scale for this case i'll select one fit so select the complete text and here in the size field change it to one feet and press enter and now click outside and the text is added so you can now move it to place it properly and now let's make multiple copies of this so select copy tool select the text and make a copy of this one i'll make it here i'll make a copy here here and here you can make another copy here also and a copy over here now we can modify these text values so let's double click here and let's change it to air went let's change this text to toilet you can move it as well to place it properly double click here change it to bedroom 2 this one is drawing room and we need to rotate this text as well so we'll do it in a moment here we have this dining area let's expand it and finally the kitchen all right now let's move this a little bit and we'll rotate this one so select rotate and rotate this like this and move it here all right now we have added all the required values here we have added the text we have added the blocks and everything within this drawing so we finally need to add dimensions in our drawing and we need to print this floor plan using our physical or virtual plotters and that we'll learn in the next and the final part of this series